This is my Skyblock Island, which I've been playing on for pretty close to a year now. In the series where I've developed this island, my goal has been to make it feel like I'm not playing Skyblock. And if you're down on the ground, you basically just can't tell, it feels like a normal world. However, there are some spots along the island which just don't really feel like that. Look over here. So today, I'm giving myself 24 hours to completely change this island. Well, not change, finish the island. And if I can't do it, well, there's not any punishment. I'm just gonna see how far I can get. And the time is on the clock, so I should get started. One of the biggest things I've done which has helped remove, you know, the void, is building walls. I'm actually standing on one right now. If we look here, there's just a big wall here and it really helps just fill in the area. So I need to build walls everywhere. And that requires resources, which brings us to our first problem. Thankfully, the main things in my block palette are cobblestone and oak wood, and I have this much cobblestone. However, I don't really have an automatic tree farm, so I had to take this behemoth out. And hey, talking's not gonna do that. Let's get to work. As I said, time is on the clock. Fortunately for this, I have three different areas to get oak wood on this island. That big tree farm, a smaller tree farm, and my forest, which just makes it feel like regular Minecraft. So I'm completing my goal by mining wood. And well, we got a lot of wood. I put it all in this brand new wood box. This is just from that collection time lapse. Or time lapses. Same thing. So now it's time to put this to use. I'm also going to fill one of these with spruce logs and cobblestone. I have an abundance of both of these, so I can get them freely and I use them. The spruce wood is used for backing supports and I mean you can see the cobblestone everywhere, it's pretty easy to see. So we got that first problem solved, let's build a wall and see if we find any other problems. I'm gonna go anywhere I can, probably starting in this back corner here because this feels like it needs a wall. Hey, we won't know until it's done. It's wall time. Look at this tower. That's a cool tower. And it's a way to end the wall off so I don't have to go the whole way. This whole thing has taken about two hours so far. So, you know, 22 more to go. Obviously, when it comes to walls, I am completely ignoring the back end of this area because it is not necessary to cover whatsoever. And if anyone claims I wasn't using that many resources, well, uh, I had a full thing of cobblestone. I had pretty much the same amount of spruce wood, but most of the wood is gone. Well, I've got a bit left over, which is good, because I still need to build walls basically everywhere else. This episode is already going to break the record for like the most amount of walls I've had to build in one episode. It's insane. But hey, uh, as I've already said, talking doesn't build walls. Building walls does. It's very clear crystal logic. So let's build a wall. Actually, in fact, let's build two walls. Or three walls. Or, who know. Four walls? Okay, I'm just gonna build some walls and enjoy more time lapses. Well, this area of the island is very quickly becoming one of my favorite parts. I mean, this gate here just looks so good. I don't know why I love the gate so much. Ah! And I also made this cool like alleyway here. It just all like, came together really well. So hey, more walls, more better island. That was grammatically incorrect. But yeah, this basically seals off the backside of the island. When you go up on the wall, it doesn't block it as much, but I mean, that's how every single wall on this island works. If you, you know, go on top of it, the void returns. So, I mean, unless I wanted to, you know, block out every single block below me, I am not removing the void. <laughs> but hey, if I can make it feel like I'm not, you know, hovering on a one block thin platform over the void, I'll do that. I mean, just running around here, you cannot tell this is Skyblock. This, this is regular Minecraft. This is awesome. But of course, we're not done. We're like, what, four or five minutes into this video? Honestly, probably earlier. I don't know. There's still a bit more work to do with walls, especially right here. I know I put this really cool tower to end the wall, and it is going to end the wall, but I do would, you know, I want to do something over here to fill in the area some more. There is the risk of, you know, completely breaking my iron farm and doing that, but it's a risk worth taking. Actually, it's not, but I'm still going to do it anyway. 
speaking of the iron farm, let's see how much that has, because there is something I want to do with it. Uh, not much. Thanks for your kind sacrifice, good sir. See, what I want to do is create a centralized area for all of the beacons. I've got a few beacons scattered around the island as it is right now. I've got two located right here, a third unused one, and a fourth which is over by my tree farm to give me haste. You can see it there, I just failed that jump. Now what I want to do is create an area where they can all be to get all the effects at high strength. And my plan is to have that like right here in the middle of the bridge. Because that would be kind of cool. I mean just some beams shooting out of the ground. That sounds sick. Or even better, maybe coming out of the house? Hmm. Well, what I know I want to do is create a centralized beacon. So let's work on that. I would like to step away from walls for a bit. I hope you can respect that decision. All right, this is a mess and it's been a mess to set up, but it should work. Let me just, you know, get, get out of here. Now I realize I'm probably gonna be quickly annoyed by this, by the fact, you know, that now I jump really high and that I can, you know, go super fast and then my FOV is increased and it's all a little weird, but I think I'll get used to it. And hey, it looks pretty sick, right? Right in the center of the island. That was a good decision. But I think another good decision would be to get back to making tunnels. N wait, no, no, no. Tunnel man? No, I, I messed up there. Make walls. Yes, walls, not tunnels. They're pretty much opposites, right? I think. Kind of? Maybe? Eh, well, let's just make another wall. The problem this time, however, is that I actually ran out of oak wood, so before I could, you know, make said wall, I had to get a bit more wood, which of course is always annoying. But hey, I'm already five hours in, so you know, gotta do what I gotta do. Well, six hours later, I believe we're basically almost done with the walls. This one was actually quite a big task, I had to build, you know, this whole long section, but then also add two towers to it. And I think it all turned out pretty well. The only spot on the island which I believe needs a wall that doesn't have one is this back corner. But let me be honest, I'm lost. That's not what I wanted to say, but uh, it's still true. Basically, I don't want to build any more walls. I've spent like four hours building walls. That's not very fun. Well, you know, what is fun is seeing how it turns out, because my island is looking really cool now. I mean, the whole thing over here, this, this corner, it just looks great. But you know, Maybe it's time to take a break from, you know, the tedious work stuff. And let me be honest, I know I said it would be like 24 hours in the intro, and probably the title, and maybe the thumbnail, but I'm gonna be honest, I can't do that. Next episode, I'm gonna be doing something pretty big too, so, you know, if you've been enjoying this one so far, probably enjoy that one. Now, we've gotten all these walls done, as I've probably said a few times already, so let's move on to something else. And I don't know why I'm running over here, because it has nothing to do with this area. This is my villager trading hall. And you know what else it is? A mess. This place is the most unorganized thing I've ever seen. Look at all these beds. They don't even need it. Well, technically they do because I'm using this as a breeding hall as well. But, you know, for trading, they don't need it. That's unnecessary space taken up. They're all crammed together in one thing, so I can't even find the ones I need. And it just kind of doesn't look good. So what I'm going to do now is organize it. Or, you know, like, die trying. This is gonna be a pain. You see, I've gotta fit everything into this one space. Thankfully, I gave myself a second floor. It's gonna be kinda hard to get them up here, but I have it. So all I need is villager, trading stand, walk space. It all works out. Look, I'm just talking here. I need to work this thing out, and it's going to be a pain with a capital P. So, uh, yeah. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed, because I've put a lot of work into this episode. I don't think I've ever recorded for six hours before, so, uh, yeah, I guess I should get to work with all the organizing and the dealing with entities in Minecraft, which is also a pain. So, uh, wish me luck. I'll see you when this is over. Well, remember how I said I probably wasn't get to 24 hours? This thing made it feel like I got to 24 hours. Working with villagers is a complete and utter pain, and they're just so annoying. It took me like an hour, may, may, I think it may have been two hours. It was so painful. A cool trick I learned from my friend Trug is that if you put villagers in a honey block, they literally don't move. So it allows you to do stuff like this, where it's a little more open, and yeah. 
Thankfully, I had a bunch of honey blocks for me just going and gathering honey from my new honey farm. Which isn't that new anymore, but I'm still going to call it my new honey farm because it's kind of new. And now that all of our villagers are sorted, I think we can move on. I have two left over that I'm going to use to breed in the future, but I don't know where to put them. And like every single villager has higher prices now because I got in a few fights with them, both accidentally and on purpose. And another quick thing before we move on, I started this episode with a full durability diamond axe, and now it is down to 65 durability, which means I have mined over 1.5 thousand blocks because this thing has I'm breaking. So oh my gosh. And I'm going to be honest, the longer and longer this episode goes on, the less I actually know about how long it's going to be. Like this could be six minutes. 8 minutes, 20 minutes, okay obviously not 20 minutes. What I know is that right now, it's not long enough. And my island isn't finished yet, I mean like this area over here is quite the opposite of finished. If I can still see the void on my island, other than where my tree farm is, I have failed. Basically I need to fill in this whole corner here, I need grass, I need more wood and everything, and the problem is, I'm running low on wood, I'm running low on dirt, I don't actually have any right now. So I need to go back and get more wood, I need to go back and get more dirt, and I need to go back and build some more walls. And it's probably worth getting a lot of dirt, because there are certain parts of the island which still need it, like this area back here, and a little bit over here. So, let's get to work. Well, it certainly feels like it's been a long day. It's actually been three, but you know, you still get the point. It's also fitting that it's night right now. <laughs> so we finished both opposite corners of the island. This one is probably my favorite of the two right now, because I made this really wheat... I, w I was about to say cool wheat farm, but it's just a wheat farm. You see, it just looks nice. Once this all grows, it's going to fit in really well, fill some nice space. And this whole corner, pretty nice. I even added a tower, but you can't see it because of my incredibly overcrowded bamboo forest there it is you can still barely there it is <laughs> in the other corner i did the same with without the wheat though it's just just dirt over here by the wall as you see we've got an extension of this forest and everything looks pretty good i ran out of bone meal and i don't want to go grab more so i'm just leaving it as it is now the last thing i really want to do involves villagers again, specifically these two idiots in boats. When did you guys become Fletchers? Well, basically, now that this isn't a villager breeding hall anymore, I need a place to breed villagers. I mean, this is all just villagers that are, you know, trading. Did these guys steal your jobs? Like, do, do you need help? Do you need to go, like, take them out or something? But yeah, I now need a place to actually breed villagers, so, uh, let's find that place. I definitely can't build it over here, because anything else villager-related over here will interfere with that. And I have a porch there. So where on the island can I breed villagers? I've had the most genius idea. So back in the tunnel episode, which may have actually been like two episodes ago, I made this area. It's a little cubby hole into what would be a tunnel. Problem is there uh, is not much room to you know, actually connect with the other tunnels because of my awesome transportation system, which I totally should have done some stuff with in this episode now that I'm realizing. But basically, I can just breed the villagers here. I can, well, not, not here, of course. I can make a room here. That'll be cool. And I don't want to go get more oak wood, so let's try making this out of spruce. That would be cool. Well, everybody, it's time. Welcome to the Breeding Bunker, which doesn't sound like a great name. Hey, if I had to stay here for like an apocalypse or something, it'd be pretty comfortable. There's a lot of sleeping options. All right, so when you didn't sign up for this, this probably sounded pretty fun. I mean, going to drop in through the ceiling, but no, you're not gonna have like a wire. It's not gonna be Mission Impossible style. You're just gonna get dropped in. In fact, I'm gonna do you right now. Enjoy your stay at the bunker. I buy ow, that probably hurt. <laughs> this is like a prison. Eh, well, good for them. They get to live in prison now. I almost killed them earlier, so, you know, life in prison is better than, you know, no life at all. Maybe not. Depends how you think about it. But I am really close to running out of rockets, which is not good. I just had an amazing idea, though. An idea that could get me to 24 hours. Overnight time lapse. Well, it's probably been 24 hours. I honestly lost track like a day ago. Well, actually, no, that'd be two days ago now. 
This has been like a five day recording. No, four, I'm exaggerating. But now it's day 777 on the Divude YouTube channel. And let's see how much gunpowder we got. This is probably the most these chests I've ever had. That is a lot. <laughs> In fact, yeah, this is, this is gonna be full for a while. All right, good decision. I have to walk back now. This is the price for being greedy and using all my rockets. Well, this is probably the first time in a while I'm just gonna be walking around my island. I have flown back and forth across this island so many times. I just haven't taken the time to walk and enjoy it. Granted, I am just gonna be walking across this bridge, so I'm just gonna see everything in my peripheral vision, but hey, it's pretty cool. I can see the differences I've made today. It's mostly the towers, but you know, there's stuff everywhere. And there we go. A bunch of rockets. Is there even room in my chest for this? Yeah, this is not a chest. This is a sugar box. I'm getting tired. Or at least I am tired. It's kind of early in the morning. I'm so used to saying I'm getting tired that I just say it because I usually record these at like night. <laughs> well, thank you everybody for watching. I've hoped you enjoyed this episode or I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will hope that you will enjoy this episode. There's a lot of different tenses I could use to say the same thing. I'll be back again soon for another big thing where, spoilers, I try and get every achievement in Skyblock. This series is starting to wrap up a bit, so hence why, you know, I've done some big projects and I'm gonna technically complete the game next time. So, if you want to see that and you've made it to the end of this video and aren't subscribed, please do. Uh, the sun is setting on the 777th day and we are 74 episodes and it would have been really fitting for 77, but I'll... See you next time.